so that's 14. Nice job. Okay, I have the airplane, Andrew. Yes, sir. I have the controls. So, um, we're going to work a couple of, um, we got here. we're going to work a couple of, uh, just a few second maneuvers. We're going to work just a real gentle wing over. Okay. So, a wing over is nothing more than a climbing turn followed by a descending turn. Okay? So, I'm just going to increase the airspeed about 70 knots. Put the nose down. Put the feet to the right. Very gently coming up on the tip. As I'm thinking, I'm going to make sure that you're going to the right. 90 degree to heading change. I want the nose to sort of drop through the horizon. And now I'm just at a nice descending turn. I'm going to get into reversal. And I'm going to get back out. I do one back to the left.
but I'll just go ahead and keep the pitch in, starting to roll out, and there we go. And so what I'm really trying to do is just balance, you know, my pitch attitude, With the my speed. bank angle to it, and, and what it's really doing is just really think, making me think about energy, and am I rolling too fast, am I pitching too fast, so it's just a good maneuver for that. But the big thing it does, it does is it really forces me to work on flying coordinated. Okay. Okay, you have the, you have the control. I have the controls. You have them. So same thing, you're going to pitch to about, uh, about 80. You can get coordinated, and then once you get to 80, then you're going to go ahead and start to pitch up and start to roll. Okay, starting to pitch. A little bit of time, you have to roll, you have to roll. No more pitch to the hand, no more pitch. Now we get to about 90 degrees here, we start to make the roll out. Keep the nose up, keep the nose up, keep the nose up. Good job, good job, good job, good job. Yeah. Good. Hey, really good first attempt. You made the same mistake I made on my second one, was I pitched a little too quickly and I ran out of energy too okay. soon. So we'll do another one, and this time we're not going to be quite as aggressive on the pit. Okay. The coordination in the bank was really good. So what 
what I think we'll do is we'll climb back up and then we'll head back to the airport. Okay. And then uh, we'll shoot a landing and then we'll we'll check the uh, the conditions. Have you done any uh, rope breaks yet? Rope breaks, no, sir. Okay, so maybe we'll we'll do a couple of those uh, if the wind uh, isn't uh, that's too strong. That's basically as far as the, the curriculum goes. That's the next thing on the curriculum. We've done all the flight maneuvers. There really isn't anything else we need to do in the air. The next step uh, pre-solo is just to do the rope breaks. And then um, Jan, Jan, once Jan is comfortable with your landings, I imagine he'll sign you off the solo. How much altitude do we need to make it back to the airport from here? Need? Need, or yeah. Minimum. Uh, let me get turn back around here. Whoa. So, we'll, you know, rough guess how far from the airport are we? Um, we're at, let me see here, so 13,000 feet, that would be off the nose, 13 miles. 13 miles, very good. So let's round it up and say we're 15. How many thousand feet do we need? Thousand feet. How many thousand do we need to, to uh, how many a thousand are we going to lose if we had to glide back to the airport and still air? Roughly, rule of thumb. Uh, uh, was it 5,000? 5, 5,000, five, 5 miles per thousand. So 5 times 13. So 15 divided by 5. Three. Three thousand, so we need, we're going to lose three thousand feet, right? Yes, sir. So the pattern, we'll just call the pattern, we'll round up and say the pattern is six thousand feet. So from from here, how high would we? We'll hit it at ten thousand. We, we'd want to be no lower than nine thousand. Okay. So nine minus three is going to put us right at roughly pattern altitude, six thousand. So by always rounding up, we build in extra safety. So that says that uh, from here, uh, we're going to arrive over the airport 4,000 feet over pattern altitude, right? Yes, sir. So we need to lose some. And we'll probably lose some on the way. So we'll go back close to the airport, and then we'll, we'll do a set of uh, uh, stalls, you know, with spoilers, without spoilers. Uh, we'll do a benign spiral. We'll talk about what that is, and we'll do one of those. Uh, we'll do a steep spiral. We'll do a steep spiral with full spoilers, so we'll get a bunch, of, a bunch more air work in over the airport. All of that will we'll lose altitude. Is there some smoke coming into the valley? Very well could be from that, uh, those couple of fires that are out to the west. Do you want your water, Andrew? Uh, sure, I'll take some. Yeah, let me see if I can get it. Okay, coming up on your left. Thank you. We'll take the airplane if you want. You have the control? I have the control. I need to turn the radio up just slightly. Can you hear that all right? Yeah, that's good. So we're almost parallel with, was that 2-0 or no, not, that's over there. Yeah, I can see the dirt runway really well and then it's a little bit harder to see the asphalt, but yeah, we're playing right on the now. I wasn't even really paying attention to what I was doing. I might do the lake. So they don't let you all over there at all? Oh yeah, we go over there. I love flying off of Joe's Peak, which is at about 10 o'clock. Uh, Joe's Peak Grill, 
and Job's sister with three high peaks right there. Those are the highest peaks on the Carson Canyon. Hey, do you still have it? I, if you don't mind, I'm going to do a, a Snapchat oh, thing. Sure. Yeah, take your time. I'm trying to make it on that Lake Tahoe yeah, thing. Yeah, that's a practice all the way up. business. He flies a King Air 300 and had a, had a family come up here for their vacation. Oh, he flies it? Uh, yeah. He, he, charter? Uh, no, it's, there, it's private. Okay. Uh, uh, corporate, I guess, is what he calls it. National ownership? Or uh, just, uh, they, they share. There's like two. Yep, yeah. Yep. But they're, they're all good friends. And where do you live at? Conway, Arkansas. Arkansas, okay. First time up this area? Uh, it actually is. Yeah. I've been to Las Vegas once or twice, but Yeah. 
50, so go in the stall. Same thing you do on the test. You're going to talk the examiner through whatever you're doing so he, so he knows. There's the buffet board. There's 50 again. Very nice. Let's do one more of those. Once okay. again, without air brakes. I want you to just be just a little bit more aggressive on the pitch over. All right. Once you say, there's the buffet, I'm recovering, go ahead and with authority push the stick forward. Alright, so there's 50 coming up. There's the buffet. Much better. Good job. So my only criticism on that one was you let your heading drift about 10 degrees. Okay. So let's go ahead and you see this, this road down on the right? That, run yes, the horse now. Just make this go parallel to that and kind of use that as your reference. So try and stay right in line with that. And uh, this one you can go ahead and do with uh, full spoilers. Okay. So you can go ahead and nail your 50, deploy your spoilers. There's 50. Hold 50, full spoilers. Okay. And then go ahead when you're ready. Coming up. There's a buffet. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. You want to make sure you close them all the way. I'm Good sorry. job. So good job. You identified what you did wrong. Was you pitched? You sort of forgot about the spoilers. And so uh, we'll do it. We'll go ahead and we'll do it again. And this time, you know, it can be spoilers first and then pitch. Okay. Or what I generally say is, is get the spoilers going and then get the pitch going. So you can do them together. But the important thing is, as soon as you say there's the buffet, I'm recovering. Let's get them close. All right. Okay. Whenever you're ready. So there's. There's 50, there's out, all the way, nose coming up. There's 
bate Airspeed is back to 50 Yeah, no other spoilers There you go Yeah, you want to make sure we hear that clunk And this airplane is a little rickety and everything's a little bit sticky So we got to work just a little bit harder to get them closed But well done Let's go ahead and just do one more of those All right. Same thing, with air brakes There's 50 Alright, air brakes out Nose up Good job, I'll take that one. Yeah, good job. You have it? No, Colorado. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm, no, I'm sorry, that was bad language on my part. That was acceptable. Nice job. Okay, so uh, let's talk about a benign spiral. Benign spiral. First off, do you know what it is? No. Okay, so benign spiral is a maneuver that we use in a glider in the event that we happen to fly into a cloud. Okay. So I'm flying wave and I get pushed into a cloud, I uh, get sucked up by a thunderstorm, or I'm just being stupid and I'm flying into a cloud. Um, we don't have enough instruments to fly flight instruments in order to be able to keep the airplane upright and to be able to maintain a, uh, a safe airspeed. Let's go ahead and turn us back to the left. So in the event that we fly into a cloud, we have two choices. One is we put the airplane into a spin. This airplane won't spin, so that's not a choice. Um, but a better thing to do for most aircraft is to benign spiral. And we'll, it's real simple. We're gonna we're gonna move the trim all the way out, we're gonna open full spoilers, and we're gonna take our hands and feet off the control. You can go ahead and do that now. Hands feet off. Pull out. Yes, sir. Open full spoilers, hands off the controls, feet off the controls. And now you're along for the ride until you come out of the cloud. The important part is that the airplane's going to stay below maneuvering speed. It's going to oscillate and fit. It'll speed up traffic and it'll slow down. Us. You see traffic, you go ahead and pick the controls. And he's below, he's way below us. Okay, very good. So this is a benign spin? This is a benign spiral. All right. This is all we're going to do. Go ahead and recover. Pull it close. Alright, we should be right on our 4 o'clock below us. Go ahead and turn it a little bit so we can keep it in sight. Let's turn to the right. Turn, turn, turn away from him. The airport. I don't see him. Um, he's tracking on our oh, way. Got him. Very good. Okay, let's go back over the green fields. Okay. The next move we're going to do is uh, we're going to work a steep spiral. We're going to start it, and all the steep spiral is is just a, a 60 degree turn. I want you to hold 60 knots. And we'll, 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 we won't start it until we're closer to the airport. This is what you would use if you had to get down to a hole in the clouds. You're flying along. Turning right down left, we're going to hold off on this. Okay, I think I got, I got it out here at uh, 1 o'clock. Uh, he's on the right downwind. No factor for us. This is traffic on equal crossing on a 163 fly above over this. We can find some lift here. We'll go ahead and circle a little bit. down there on the left. Okay, he's setting up for a minute, so we're going to be good. We're going to hang out. I don't want to lose any altitude until okay. he's, he's got on the ground. Because when we lose altitude, we're going to lose it pretty rapidly. Yes, sir. Uh, we got a, a shadow. 
you guys see, uh, see a shadow coming in over the top of us. I all I see is the shadow. I don't see him. Uh, to our left side in the first circle. I got the glider on the downwind. You see him right by the one six numbers. Traffic from the Albuquerque Trail. That could be like a southwest or somebody. Okay, well, I just I saw a shadow. Was it big or small? Uh, probably about the size of the center of that circle. So probably he was a little higher then. Okay, he's still in pattern. I got the traffic uh, on downwind. One o'clock. So the traffic on the vehicle crossing of a three-zero glider station. So steep spiral, 60 degrees of bank, uh, 60 knots, and uh, basically you spiral down. And then to increase your descent rate, once you're established in the spiral, you'll deploy your spoilers. And that's a good way to get down over a small area in a controllable fashion. Okay. I got it right off the nose. Wait Where? Up. Okay. Uh, Level. Step. Yep. That's probably my dad, right? Okay. So you can go ahead and practice that right here, 60 degrees of bank, 60 Whoa. knots on the airspeed, All right. turn for 60, 60 a little bit around the turn, we'll just start with some steep turn, just a little bit more, steep the turn, 60 knots, 60 degrees of bank, you're going to feel those two G's, that's good, no, that's where you want it, that's good, that's, just keep it coordinated, keep it 60 knots, knots on the airspeed. What's the IP? You see the ranch at the north end of these two circles? Yes, sir. Right? I, I got want you to be there at 6,000 feet. Okay, I got traffic below us. At He's on the downwind. All right. So do whatever you want to do. Be there at 6,000 feet. Be there at 6,000. And one more time, what are we looking for? Uh, the IP? Yes. Uh, below us on the right side. You're probably going to have to make some turns to see it now. Way down below. Right below us on the right side of the nose. Now you're over top of it. Just continue the circle and you'll see it as we come around. I'm basically over the IP right now. Oh, uh, oh, the big crop circle. Well, it's right between the two circles. 
is the ranch, so it's like a four L's and a bunch of trees between the two circles. The other thing I ask is, uh, so be there at 6,000 feet. Okay. Um, when does God have you do in your, your uh, landing checklist? Uh, when I when I enter the 45. Perfect. So do the, we'll do the same thing when you're on the 45. You just verbalize your checklist to me. Brakes canopy. Canopy. Oh, yeah. Oops. Canopy's locked. Your pins in. Thumbs up. Same traffic. All right. There you go. All right. The traffic going to departing. Please have a left or right departure. Okay. Let's take all the way back. Yeah. All the way back. My bad. A little bit low. A little low? Well, for, for training, we generally add a little bit for, but that's fine. You're doing great. Very nice job. And in your airspeed, you just have line up. Don't worry about your black slow. Very nice. How much altitude did we lose on that? Um, wow. I think we gained altitude. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Imagine that. 